Hi, I'm Brian Dolan with another edition of the Week in Review. The Kremling Memorial Hospital District has brokered a deal with Centura Health to purchase the St. Anthony Granby Medical Center for $2.6 million. Effective January 1, 2012, Centura Health will transfer operations and assets of the long-standing medical center to the Kremling District with no interruption of service according to recent statements. About 33 full-time and part-time associates will be affected and both organizations are working together to facilitate employment opportunities at the new Middle Park Medical Center, as well as existing Centura Health entities. Gary Campbell, President and CEO of Centura Health said, we made a comprehensive and thorough evaluation of the opportunities available to enhance the value of health services for the residents of Grand County, and by taking advantage of our organization's shared strengths and opportunities, we think this is a win-win-win for the community, Kremling Memorial Hospital District and Centura Health. The East Grand Board of Education adopted a new conflict of interest policy that says it's against district rules to serve both on the board and be fully employed by the district. The decision, which addresses complaints the board heard during the district's controversial hearings about the 2011-2012 budget, makes two current board members ineligible to serve. Hot Sulphur Springs Representative Mike Thompson and Granby Representative Melissa Quinn both work for the school system and have given up their seats, which creates four board positions that could change in November. The State Reappointment Committee has lumped Grand Counties with Summit and Eagle Counties to create House District 63. The new district reflects about 28% Democrats, 31% Republicans, and 39% unaffiliated voters, according to a population summary by the state's reappointment staff. The Reappointment Commission voted in favor of a less controversial map that keeps Grand County and Senate District 8, with northwestern counties and a portion of Boulder County. The final maps will now be reviewed by the Colorado Supreme Court, and citizens can file objections with the court. During a short-term rental regulation hearing last week, commissioners opted to allow nightly rentals in all zones of the county. Commissioner James Newberry made the motion to add in a registration component so the county may keep better track of those renting out their homes short term and will aid the county in keeping track of sales tax compliance. According to County Clerk Sarah Rosine, this will also allow the county to turn names over to the state for auditing. Commissioners will review the details of the registration fee at their next meeting. The Grand County Library District is conducting its 24th annual Scary Story Contest for elementary students and its Vampire Tales contest for middle school students. Prizes will be given to those who dare to win. Entry forms are available at your local library or the district's website. And if you didn't get one, Middle Park High School is selling past yearbooks for $10 to $15. Call Kim Garrett at the Middle Park High School office to purchase one at 887-2104. For TV18, I'm Brian Dolan. I'll see you next time on the Week in Review. Grand County's Week in Review is brought to you by Grand Mountain Bank, your hometown bank.